Well, we started it with an economics lesson on wants and needs, and the children have been learning about things that they want and things that they need and differentiating between the two. And it went on from there to what do you do if you don't have what you need? And so our goal is to help some people that don't have what they need. And their first answer was to get some money from your mom and go buy it for them. But we said, we can't get money from mom. How else can we get some money? And so we came up with, we're selling these necklaces for a dollar each and we're gonna take the profits and we're gonna buy some things for some people that don't have enough for Christmas. It started last year and it kind of just evolved. So it wasn't really us, wasn't really them, it just kind of evolved. And this year, we knew how successful it was last year, so we kind of presented it as an option to them, and they were very excited to jump in on it. Now they're five and six years old, so to them, you know, to produce something that somebody else wants to purchase is pretty exciting, and to them a dollar is a lot of money. And so as we're looking at it, like now we have, I don't know, close to a hundred necklaces ready for sale, and they know that each one is gonna be a dollar, and so $100 to them is an astronomical amount of money. So they're pretty excited, they're very engaged in it, and they really want it to be successful. And they know what it's for. You know, they can tell you that it's not for them, and they know it's for other people, and they're gonna make some other people happy. It's something that they could make themselves. We didn't want it to be our labor intensive, we wanted it to be their work. Um, so this is something that they can make and they, they literally have choices that they make when they make the necklaces. So they're trying, you know, they're doing a lot of math with it too. They're making patterns, they're counting. They have to have certain things on their necklaces. Um, and so it's something they can do by themselves. Last year, it blew us away. We were hoping to maybe make $100. We made over $700. We were able to buy for seven children that go to our school, which was really exciting. It was even exciting for us, I think, as teachers to see the kids in some of the things that we bought for them. So it, w it went way beyond what we thought it was gonna be. And so this year, we've set a goal of $1,000. And we're hoping to reach that, and we're much better prepared because we realize what the demand is gonna be like.